Jeff, you're seeing crop protection sales numbers up in China and North America. The reality is, though, both of those economies now in the full throes of a trade war and tariff dispute. What does this macro backdrop mean for the business moving forward? And how concerned are you by the state of play? Well, I think the, uh, the ag economy has always shown uh, a great deal of resilience. Uh, of course, trade is an important part of agriculture. It's an important uh, linkage, actually, between the U.S. and China, as, as China is the largest consumer of agriculture products. Um, but what we're focused on and what we're seeing is a, a strong demand for our technology. If you think about what farmers uh, need to do, they need to be able to produce more uh, with less, and they need to be able to adapt to climate change. And so the best way to deal with that is innovation and technology, and that's what Syngenta brings to the table in the U.S. and China and really in all major ag markets around the world. So I wanted to ask you about that specifically because we have also seen Syngenta recently calling off an IPO in Shanghai. So how are you thinking about your global footprint now and your supply chain strategy? Are there still plans to go public at some point despite the macro backdrop right now? Yeah, I mean, we've been uh, public of the fact that we do eventually plan to come back to the markets, the public markets. But again, we're very much focused right now on what is it that we can control? And uh, our business operations is, of course, front and center. Um, you know, we will come back to the markets when the timing is right. Um, but one of the things that is, is really important for us, as also will be important for future investors, is just the quality of our pipeline. We have uh, what is considered to be the highest value pipeline in the industry. We're the world leader in crop protection globally. Uh, we're the number three player in seeds. And we're the leader in biologicals. We're an organization that is leading the transformation to biologicals. So there's a lot of great things going on in our pipeline. And one of the things that um, we know for sure is, is that the world is going to need more food. Uh, the world is going to need more resilience in agriculture. And Syngenta has a really important role to play. So expand on that for me, because so much of the focus right now, as you have been saying, is in artificial intelligence. What impact is this having on the business and your operations today? Because the promise of AI is for so many executives far and far into the future. I want to know exactly what's happening today and how it's impacting the business. Yes, yeah, a great question. So obviously, artificial intelligence is affecting essentially all industries and agriculture included. And uh, one of the things that we're very excited about in Syngenta is we've been a very early adopter of artificial intelligence. We've been thinking about this for quite some time. And to your direct question, I mean, this isn't something that's 10 years into the future, five years into the future. These are things that are happening today. Uh, many of examples, the, the three probably best examples I can give you is, is, is that we're using artificial intelligence to help with the interactions that we have with farmers. We deal with hundreds of millions of farmers around the world, from the biggest to the smallest. And farmers have to make many decisions on a daily basis, based on weather, based on markets, all kinds of variables that they can't control. So our ability to leverage our connection with farmers and our expertise in artificial intelligence is helping farmers make better decisions today um, than they could five, 10 years ago. So that's the first example. Uh, the other two examples are internal. Uh, we're using artificial intelligence in our research and development pipeline. In fact, artificial intelligence is affecting every part of our crop protection uh, development pipeline. So we're using machine learning and artificial intelligence to make better decisions on the products we bring to the farmers, next generation farmers, next generation products, I should say. And so that allows us to make better decisions today, which will shorten the timeline, get innovation into the hands of farmers faster, more efficiently, and more effectively. And then the third is just internal operations. We're using artificial intelligence to improve our efficiency. We have, you mentioned about supply chain, we have a very complex global supply chain. And so we're using artificial intelligence to be able to improve the decisions that are being made to de-risk the supply chain, reduce our cost, improve our efficiency, and improve our reliability to farmers at a time when you know, there's a lot of disruption in the supply chain because of some of the tariff discussions. We're making sure that we have the products in the right place so that farmers can use them when they need them. Jeff, uh, tying together two questions here, and just with regards to your message to farmers, uh, obviously we're seeing progress on some fronts, but concerns on other fronts within the business as well. Syngenta facing thousands of lawsuits over Paraket's alleged link to Parkinson's. What is your message to investors? What's your message to those farmers that you're talking about who have been impacted by all of this and watching these developments as they unfold? 
Yeah, well, my first message on this topic is, is that we have a lot of confidence. We have complete confidence in the safety of our products. Our products go through years of testing, thousands of studies. We invest hundreds of millions of dollars to ensure uh, our products are safe. And we are working with regulatory agencies from around the world uh, to make sure that the, the regulatory reviews are rigorous and complete. Uh, it's very important to have a science-based regulatory system. And uh, we have, again, m uh, complete confidence in the safety of our products. So what we, the message that we have to farmers is, is, is that we are not only confident in the products that have been on the market for some time, but also very confident in the new products that we're bringing to the market that will be able to help solve some of the most important problems that they face. Again, climate change is affecting farmers everywhere in the world. There's a lot more need for new innovation uh, to improve the resilience of farmers who are on the front line of climate change, are on the front line of this disruption that's happening. And so our ability to bring these new products, have complete confidence in their safety, bring them in a timely manner, uh, is really what uh, our, our focus is as a company.